<laughs> Hello, how you doing? How you been? For today's video, I'm finally getting into all of my stuff that I've accumulated these past couple months. And so we're going to start with what the VSNA book sale is first. So basically, it's a youth book sale. They have this book sale annually. And this is what they give you. They give you a cute little map. And on the map, it shows, like, basically what the what next year's schedule is going to look like, their socials. Then it gives you a map of the warehouse and, like, where you can find specific types of books. And then on the back, they have, like, rules and regulations and stuff for, like, people who are, like, checking through their stuff. And then also it shows, like different categories again in the middle and on this side too it kind of just like describes what's in each category i guess you can say this year oh my goodness it it was kind of different from last year just the whole atmosphere like i said in my the vlog when i went the people weren't as nice as last time there was still quite a lot of like reseller people the lines were crazy long, and we actually showed up, like, a little late, but not really. But it was still, like, it was kind of raining that day, too. So, it was just, you know, kind of interesting. And then the line to check out was even, like, almost as long as the line to get into the building, which was crazy. But this year, I ended up... Ooh. This year I ended up getting like just a book. I don't know, just a book. <laughs> yeah, I didn't end up getting just a book, huh? Or this year I ended up only having like a bag full of books, which is pretty good because last year I think I had like maybe two and a half bags full of books. So I know for sure, like, all these books is about to carry me through the rest of this year. I won't have to buy any more books until, like, next year. But this year, I went to a lot of the same, like, categories that I usually go to, the, like, the first time I went. But I actually found the, like, arts and crafts section because I'm really trying to get into hobbies this year. So I'm glad I found that section because I found a lot of stuff over there. But let's just get into the books. These first two things aren't even books. They're actually sewing patterns. And this one is for a vest. And then the next sewing pattern is also for vest. And as you can tell, like I'm just obsessed with vests right now. So I had to get these. They were only a dollar. So for the fashion books... The first one I got was Gertie's new book for better sewing, a modern guide to couture style sewing using basic vintage techniques. So here's the book. And then there's also like a little back part where it has like this envelope thing. And I think that's maybe like a whole different book or something. I'm not sure. But I got this one because there was a lot of like sewing books like teach you about like different sewing machines but I got this one specifically because I do want to learn about like the basic vintage techniques because my ultimate goal is to sew vests and to sew my own trouser pants so I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that this this year sewing some trouser pants I don't think I'll be able to get to that but maybe next year I'll have high hopes. And then the next fashion book I got is The Art of Fabric Collage, An Easy Introduction to Creative Sewing. And I thought this one was so cool because once again, it has vest involved. But also because the patterns in here are so cool and like I... When it comes to sewing and stuff, I'm really into, like, embroidery, too. So I just thought, like, it was cool seeing, like, the different types of patterns that you can also include onto clothing items. 
So the first book is In the Company of Women, Inspiration and Advice from Over 100 Makers, Artists, and Entrepreneurs. My gosh. So it's just, you know, gives empowering advice and inspiration from some influential women. I actually got this book because there was like this black girl across the table from me. And when she saw the book, she went crazy for it. She said, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. And she was going in about this book. So then I saw that there was two copies. And me and her were like talking to each other about outfits and stuff and complimenting each other and stuff. So then I was just like, if she going like if she going that hard over this book, like maybe I should take it too because I don't know what it's about. But if she made it seem like it's that interesting, I gotta find out. The, and the crazy thing is the the one that I got, it has this cute little like it has this cute little note on it from let's see from Patty to Anna. So I don't know like what the backstory is and why Anna decided to give this book up. But hey, I have it now, so I'm gonna just show it some appreciation. So the title of the next book is The Friends We Keep and it says A Woman's Quest for the Soul of Friendship. And in the back it just says why are women's friendships so tricky? And then it goes like further into it. And to be honest I need to figure that out because I'm trying to make friends. I'm trying to make new friends, you know, trying to find my soul tribe and stuff like that. And it's been a little hard. Like, to be honest, I honestly feel like if there was a sewing class near me, like that we could go to in person, I probably already have my friends by now. But since there aren't any that are like publicized, Yeah, I definitely want to know, like, you know, how to get back into making friends, I guess. And then also just, like, communication in general. Like, I'm not really good at keeping convers, like, having flowy conversations with people. So, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully this book kind of helps with something along those lines. I'm not going to say it out loud because I don't even know if you could say this word, but... You can read it. And I obviously got this book because, you know, at least in the U.S., health classes, like, literally all we did was drew, like, drew the the part, the reproductive parts, and then just talked about sperm and eggs and zygotes, and that was it, literally. So, obviously, they, you know, don't talk about how what to look for if to see if you're you know healthy down there all that stuff so obviously i'm gonna take matters into my own hand and learn it myself and then i found this book too i actually ran across this book a long time ago when i was like trying to find more books online and i read a little bit of it and i was like really interested in it but i kind of forgot what it was about but it's been on my you know in my book wish list for the longest. So I was like, yep, gotta grab that. The next one is just another women's choices and natural healing, drug-free remedies for the world of alternative medicine. So now we're getting into the more holistic side of just women's health in general, not just only about focusing on the reproductive parts. This one is called Holistic Healing and the Edgar Casey Readings, a book based on the work of the famous and well-known sleeping prophet of Virginia Beach. Okay. So, yeah, another holistic health book. Well, this one's about weeds and it's just like the history of weeds and what weeds have um, medicinal benefits and stuff like that. I really want to get into learning about herbs more, obviously, because later down the road, I plan to have my own garden. So it would be nice to, you know, just learn about that stuff now. And then I got this feng shui book. And this is for, it says simple solutions for every home and office. So it's not just for the house, but also for your workspace. So right now for me, my house 
my home is my workspace. So two and one. But yeah, just learning about feng shui. And then the last book is Green Solutions for the Home, Easy Cleaning and Pest Control. It's just like natural cleaning products and stuff that you can create yourself to clean your home and ensure that, you know, your health isn't being put at risk or your pet's health isn't being put at risk. So the first one he got is 1001 questions to ask before you get married. And it sounds just like it, the title. It just has a whole bunch of, like it'll, in the beginning of the chapter, it'll like kind of describe some stuff and do like a little introductory, whatever, or like summarize this chapter, what this chapter's questions are about. And then after that, it'll give you like the list of questions that you are supposed to ask each other and answer honestly. So I honestly think books like these are pretty cool because I feel like when it comes to any type of relationship, a lot of people don't take the time to ask the harder questions or sometimes you, you're you so wrapped up in, in the vibes that you forget to ask the deeper questions. You see what I'm saying? So that's, that's a cool book. And then his other book that he got was A Thousand and One Ways to Be Romantic. And... He, I don't know fully why he got it, but he just got it because he wants to learn how to be more romantic, I'm guessing. It's waiting to exhale. Literally, when I got out of high school, this book is the book that got me back into reading, like wanting to read for fun. I used to do it a lot when I was like in elementary school. Then I stopped because of sports and stuff. And then I got back into it and then college happened and then now I'm getting back into it again. So, yeah, I just didn't have this book as my own because I borrowed it from my grandma. So I just ended up getting my own and it was a hard copy. But tell me why. Tell me why. I For this book, they were selling it at two different price points. The first one was like three dollars and then this one was four dollars. And I decided to go with the $4 one because the pages, like the quality of the pages, it was like a more like newer, I guess you can say more cleaner. So I got the $4 one, but they couldn't even take the time to take this $2 sticker off. So it's like, y'all know y'all got this or whoever got this and gave it to y'all got it for two dollars and you selling it for four dollars but i said hey that's my girl i'm gonna get it because i need to i did have it in like a paper paperback but it was like one of those small paperbacks and i was like i'm not i wouldn't reread it in this format because it's just too tiny and i don't like how the little paperbacks like you can't really like read the words closer to the like binding so I was like, yeah, I need to give me a hard cover. And I'm actually really happy with all the books I got. I actually have four more other books that I got, but I'm not going to show them in this video because they pertain to another hobby video that I'm going to do in a little bit. So I'm just going to show it then in that one because that's just like another haul video. That's pretty much it for this video. I mean... I'm pretty excited for all of these books. The only thing I would say I was like a little sad about is not being able to find any books pertaining to animals, dogs specifically, but like, well, dogs and goats, because those are two animals I'm interested in like taking care of. But besides that, like, I feel like this is was a really successful trip. And this is definitely going to be like an annual thing for me and, and Khalil now. And when we do go, we just going to hit up all of our spots that we really love out there in Arizona. And on top of that, they gave us this cute little um, reusable bag. We actually got two of them. They were only $2, so it wasn't bad. They didn't have these last time we went, so I thought that was pretty cool. Well, that is pretty much it for this video and let me know down in the comments if like you'd be interested like which books would you be interested 
and like me possibly like doing a video on or like talking about more. I'm just trying to figure out like what other type of content I can create on here that would actually be like interesting to watch. So I'm gonna let y'all know right now. I don't think I'm gonna be like completely like a booktuber just because I don't know all the vocabulary and stuff like that. I'm not no, I'm not an English major. Um, yeah, no, I got my bachelor's in biology <laughs> and I'm barely using that. So yeah, and I just feel like book talk, not book talk, keep mixing my socials, booktube. It just, I don't know. I don't think I fit that mold. And I heard it can be a little harsh over there. And right now, I don't know if my feelings can take all that. So <laughs> I'm going to just keep it real. But yeah, just if you are interested in seeing more book videos, let me know. Or what videos are you interested in seeing on this channel? Let me know down in the comments below. Okay. Well, that is pretty much it for this video, so I'm going to let you go, and I will see you in the next one.